I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not. I am. You're not. I am. You like me too much. The end of season one finishes in uh, Villanelle's apartment. It's safe to say that they have a little altercation. I've never done anything like this before. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah. We wanted to pick up directly the moment that we finished series one. So you've got Eve um, in total shock at what she's done, and you've got Villanelle actually desperately wounded. Despite the fact she's a psychopath, she is a human being. She has to escape the apartment, and she's in a pretty bad way. They are in sort of desperate measures. We find out how Villanelle reacts to Eve stabbing her. I'm not sure whether it will be what people expect. I feel that like Eve's journey in season two is so psychologically dark. She is pushed to the limit. This is the worst hangover ever. How do you look yourself in the mirror? Something happened? No. Nothing happened. We wanted this series to be more, I guess, of a dance between them. It has a very different energy from the start of series one. Both of our leading ladies are, you know, in real jeopardy. These two women just cannot help but stay in their, each other's vortex. It's not simply that Eve is after Villanelle. The question will be, is Villanelle after Eve?